everyone, Third Eye 88 here today, and I am going to take you through a review of the 2015 Bionicle Protector series of Lego sets. I was able to get these a little early thanks to Toys R Us uh, messing up and putting them out early, and the uh, manager allowed me to purchase them. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to go through each one. In all all six of them in one video and you can uh, cut to a different point in the video to see the review of the particular set you would like to see so let's begin to start off we will go from right to left and that means that we will review the protector of stone now you will notice that he has a dark blue skull spider with an extra leg piece on the back to make him a skull spider scorpion which I personally think is kinda cool that they at least tried to variate them a little bit uh... it's not much of an effort but it is there all the same now this wasn't the first protector I built this was actually the third one and this was the first one that <clears throat> that impressed me as far as as far as you know details and making it seem like th there's more to them than just you know oh here's a Lego set they're all the same you know whatever you know they I, I really like the the spikes on him because it makes him feel like you know a desert dwelling bone hunting type scavenger and, and to me that gives them a little bit more depth than just making them kind of bland and uh, all the same even though they are very they are all very similar sets to each other um, the other interesting thing that uh, very much surprised me about the protector of earth is uh, I, I don't know about anybody else but I personally thought uh, this was all trans yellow I thought we were getting trans yellow elements but these are not trans yellow they are actually trans neon green or trans lime if you want to call it that so that that actually threw me off when I'm like wait a second these aren't yellow so very interesting there um the uh the, the one complaint I have about the protectors and it's gonna unfortunately it's gonna be a complaint I have about every series of sets that comes in this wave unless they change it back is the masks do come off pretty easily I don't know what other reviewers have said but I mean really we're we're right back to 2001 level of of loose masks uh, the play feature works obviously uh, but I've never been a big fan of the whole knock off the mask play feature uh, but I will say I do appreciate that they included that you know it, it feels very much like Lego is going back to some of the roots of generation one Bionicle and incorporating that into the the new series um, it, it feels nice because it feels like to me at least that they're listening and I appreciate that um, some new parts obviously um, and this also surprised me when I first saw it is that we're actually currently not getting armor pieces in brown but in uh, dark orange or uh, burnt orange if you want to call it that I've heard some people refer to it as burnt orange um, that's I'm I'm excited about that because I do like that color but at the same time I wish there was more brown in uh, uh, CCBS uh, Brown hasn't been around for a while, and only until uh, 2013 
was it even available in any kind of CCBS uh, Lego set? And that was with Ogrim, and I'm pretty sure Ogrim was the first one, but uh, now I think um, it's available in a few other sets. I'll have to research that. One of the other things I really appreciate about the uh, some of the protector sets, not all of them have this, but I really appreciate that they designed the weapons to work with uh, two hands. They can hold them with two hands and, and use them pretty well because the weapon itself is sort of flexible and you didn't really see that a whole lot in the original Bionicle. Um, it wasn't there as much as I would have liked it. But the fact they made the effort on even such small sets to give them two-handed weapons where uh, applicable, that, that, that impresses me. And the other thing that impresses me is that it's a two-handed weapon that they can that you can still fire and uh, just like the singular die skull spider Ugh. just like the uh, singular uh, stud shooter uh, that we got earlier in 2014 hero factory sets these have quite uh, quite a decent amount of of range to him. Uh, let's see. We will move. I'm gonna move him off camera, and let's see. He's way back here. And yep, see, we still have plenty of range. Um, that's really cool. The other thing that's also really interesting about that. Oh, I broke his weapon, and see, his mask fell off. Uh, just handling him. What what's gonna be really cool about this set or these parts in these sets is that this is just a very versatile piece that'll be very easy to put on uh, anything, and so I can really appreciate that as a uh, as a mocker. Uh, and let's see, we broke his staff, so let's put his staff together back on back together on camera there we go and like I said their masks fall off way too easy for me I never ever liked that about the uh, first year first what two years of Bionicle that their masks I mean you can you can't really manipulate their head with their masks on all that well I I, I find it a bit of a struggle so, as per this set, I like the I like the two-handed weapon. I like the detailing in the uh, armor. I like that they bothered to make it a little different. It shows uh, it gives the the set a little bit of personality, like it is a desert dwelling, bone scavenging type, and uh, I like that it differentiates. Uh, each figure from the others they they definitely tried to make each one unique as they possibly could with the constraints of the size of the sets and the parts that they could uh, include so overall I, I he's one of the, he's one of the ones I like I, I definitely like the uh, protector of stone now for the protector of jungle this was the second this is the second one that I built. Um, his color scheme definitely grabbed my eye, and I just wanted to see what he was about. Uh, the first one I built was uh, the Protector of Earth, just because I know that's going to be my favorite uh, of the clans, I guess you could say. Uh, love me some trans purple, but this guy caught my caught my eye next. Uh, really like the color scheme. Uh, you just can't go wrong with uh, Kitangu orange or bright light orange. Uh, if you you know whatever you call it, uh, it 
I've always considered it like a school bus yellow. Uh, I'm pretty sure people have whatever names they make up for it. Um, <clears throat> one of the other things I, I really like about these new sets is they feel a lot more consistent in their color schemes than Hero Factory did. Here you don't have a bunch of, you don't have like gold mixed with silver, mixed with gunmetal. It's all silver. You know, very consistent. I like that. That's that's definitely a plus for me. Um, he also comes with these little viney vine elements on his feet, uh, which feels a little bit like the same um, attempt to differentiate him from the others and show what environment he comes in, like in the Earth Protector. Uh, although I don't think it's quite as successful. A little more, uh, I guess, foliage, like maybe on his shoulders, you know, just to motif the idea that, hey, this guy comes from the jungle. Uh, Would have worked a little better. Um, the, the I, I like this color green. Um, it, it definitely looks good on him. And I think it would have worked better for him it, you know, with this color than if they had tried to do uh, trans neon green. Um, the weapon is kind of cool. I, I it, it feels to me like a uh, kind of like a minigun crossbow, and like with the Earth Protector, uh, we'll set you up. Oh, nice shot. Ha <laughs> ha It feels to me like a minigun uh, mixed with a crossbow, which is pretty cool. That's a, again, I appreciate the two-handed weapon. Uh, I, like the, I like the attempt there, although what poses, eh, I guess you can get a decent amount of poses f from him while he's still holding it or you can let him go and he can hold it one hand oh well no I guess not because then it's all flimsy huh okay well still nice effort I like it that um, that is my only real thoughts on him uh, oh back armor definitely appreciate back armor uh, Again, that just feels like we've been that they've been listening to us because back armor is definitely something that Hero Factory lacked. I'm glad to see they make the effort on even such a small set to fill it out and make it a uh, make it a set that looks good from all angles. Uh, and that's that's really something that this guy has going for him. He looks like a complete set from all angles and I really appreciate that so that is the uh, protector of jungle and now we have the protector of water um I built this one second to last uh, some of the other ones just kinda kinda grabbed my attention a little bit more before uh, this one I I don't really have any complaints about it. It's a very solid um, differentiation from the others. Uh, they're all very similar but different at the same time. Um, it, it it definitely sits in the stronger class of of the protector sets. Uh, I really love that they made the effort to do these turbines that is just so cool uh, that they took that extra step and oh, let's see if we can get her to swim okay we have yep there we go uh, oh yep see there we go that's what I'm talking about their masks are just so easy to, to have come off uh, really 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 do hope they go back to the axle connection 
uh, or, or you know, maybe even like a like a double pen connection, but that faces that way into a mouth, so that like it still is somewhat compatible with the CCBS stuff. That would be cool. Um, but still, just you know, keep it simple. Axles are always going to be a great way to connect. So he could be swimming along, and there we go. You know. And we're going to shoot at the camera. Oh, yay. <laughs> uh, don't know if, if spiders can swim, but she can shoot at them underwater. Um, I, I like the weapon. Again, it feels like a, uh, a nice differentiation. Uh, I, I actually do kind of like that they included both light and uh, dark trans blue in her her build that's pretty neat uh, that they did both because she is she is a water character so after all I, I feel like one color wouldn't really I mean I guess they could have done just dark blue but um, the fact that light blue is in there as well as the ice protector uh that uh, I don't mind that personally uh I again I like the functionality of the weapon how it's different yet you can still operate it and it works you know you saw me pose her in a swimming position and then she can turn off to the side look point it up point it down it just it works as a two-handed weapon and again we just did not see this much in Bionicle uh, in the first uh, series of Bionicle so I'm really happy to see two-handed weapons that actually work uh, show up here uh, the turbines are also pretty pretty articulate since they are built off the arms and then rotate and then of course they spin also it's nice to get these parts in uh, a trans light blue um, I could definitely see those being useful somewhere um, the only only thing that um, might be a setback for her is only the one of the uh, of the new armor add-on, the Bionicle style add-on piece. Uh, you only get one of these in her, uh, but you get like three in other sets, so that makes up for it if you're buying multiple ones, but if you can only afford one at a time, um, if you can only afford one figure at a time, I don't think she would be my first, she's definitely not my first pick as far as parts but she might be somebody's first pick because who knows maybe they like just really like blue or they really like the the water tribe characters um it's not a bad set to be included in the entire series and that's it for the uh the water protector up next is the ice protector so now we have the ice protector um Oh, I think I built him. I he was right in the middle. I just decided to get him out of the way because nothing about him really, really uh, wowed me. Um, although I will say I was curious to see the new armor piece in white. Uh, it looks really good. That is a really awesome part, and I'm glad that they're already throwing it out there in mul in different colors um, it's nice to see uh, us get a new part and not have to wait for like a bunch of different recolors all at once um, and, and, and on that same note um, I do I have always appreciated the earlier years of Bionicle where you got the same part in all six colors I mean here it's uh, the same mask in six different color combinations, 
but I still really enjoy the fact that we're we're getting uh, options. Uh, that's what I felt Bionicle in the later years lacked uh, was that you could get you'd get this really cool part, but in one color uh, because it was only on that one set. Um, Hero Factory definitely has brought back uh, the use of the color palette uh, for diff- for one part having multiple colors and that makes that in my opinion has made the CCBS system very versatile and far more versatile than uh, Bionicle was in its later years for uh, c- you know the color palette <clears throat> Um, I'm also very glad to see the aesthetic of Bionicle return to the CCBS. Uh, that that really is essentially all I wanted uh, out of Hero Factory was a better aesthetic. It was always too smooth and too bland for me. But as far as the, the actual bones and versatility of the parts, it had Bionicle beat, hands down. Um, CCBS parts are just so much more versatile because they're so much more generic and when you mix I I personally think that when you mix Bionicle and CCBS you get the best possible result because one makes up for the other Uh, together they make a really good system of building (laughs) oops see that's what I'm saying just time and again proving that the masks come off too easily. Now as for the um, ice protector himself, I actually don't like him too much. What I don't like is his stubby little arms. It's just a, a fist on a bicep thigh part. Uh, that makes him very... just that, that one little piece that could have been his forearm uh, makes him lack posability a lot. Um, yeah, you can stick his arm out like that, and then, you know, there's just not a whole lot you can do with just these stubby little arms. Uh, although I guess the only, (laughs) the only, um, come on, the only, um, positive aspect to that is when you actually look at him, it makes their, his arms just a little bit more proportionate to the rest of his body. I know some people really like proportionate builds. Well, there you go. Uh, you got a somewhat proportionate build on this guy. Uh, personally, I don't like it. I like the longer arms on the others because of posability. Um, again, we get the back armor. Very, very happy about that. Three of the white armor pieces on him which is really awesome because that makes these parts accessible at a lower price point in a nice quantity you can get two of these guys and have six that's great um, when I get Kopaka I will take a note of how many of those uh, he has and touch more on that later but I mean, to be able to get three of these in one set for ten bucks, that's pretty awesome. Uh, we also get the um, the uh, translucent uh, light blue bone piece. Uh, glad to get, see that still in here. And we get the, uh, the fists. Uh, we got cheated out of some... Uh, and we also get the, um, the, the blue the blue shield piece we got you know North America got cheated out of this when we didn't get uh, the uh, Legend of Chima construction sets so it's cool that they uh, found a way to put that back in to a universal release by giving it to this guy so the set overall not uh, not too pleased with him but for what you get in this set, it's a great set. Um, definitely recommend picking him up. And that's it for the Ice Protector. 
now we have the protector of earth and I must say this guy kicks butt uh, I, I think the earth clan uh, earth tribe is going to be a lot of people's favorite I know that but just by looking at the pictures of this guy and looking at the pictures of Onawa and the fact that they included purple and trans purple into their color scheme makes them my favorite. Uh, this was the first one I built. I could not wait to tear into this set and, and get it built and look at it. And I love it. Uh, definitely my favorite. Is it the best one? Mm, that's subjective. Um, you get the trans purple parts, um, and you also get the, the rock element in silver. Uh, other than that, um, his parts don't, you don't really get anything out of them that's new. You get this, these, these, and then the mask and head are re really the only new parts you get out of this guy, so... New parts wise, not technically the uh, the best uh, selection, but I mean he is just so cool. He's got he's got his gun in his chest. How is that not cool? The other cool thing, uh, well, it's a mixed bag for me. I'm a little bummed that his. Uh, his stud pieces weren't trans purple, but at the same time, I'm happy about that because I think I, I have a lot of uh, purple one by one studs thanks to pick a brick. So the nice thing is, I could have a lot of fun with shooting this guy around, and if I lose some of his studs, well, I'm not, you know, it's not the end of the world for me because I have literally handfuls of these studs. Um, I really like the fact they made him unique and decided to add the gun to his chest. Don't really know how that plays into the story or if they can be like, oh yeah, you just got, you know, you got a gun in your chest, whatever. No, no big deal. <laughs> um, but other than that and, um, I guess the the silver rock pieces are kind of cool. Um, would have been cool if those were maybe I don't know if if they were in black it would have blended in. Um, I think maybe if they had made his feet and his uh, hand silver as well that would have looked better. Uh, just to have these be the only silver on him they just kind of feel like oh okay they're out of place and that the, the rock elements um it just, I don't know that it, it's 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 nitpicking uh admittedly I will fully admit to nitpicking on that but it just feels a little out of place um I'm not the biggest fan of his weapon it just feels kind of slapped on uh, like what is it? Oh, it's a drill, I guess. I, I I'm assuming it's a drill. So he's got you know, like he's running around with a power drill and a steak knife, you know. <laughs> but I I guess he doesn't really need too much in the way of weaponry because he's got a gun in his chest. That's you know, when you got a gun in your chest, I mean, I guess you don't really need to carry much else, right? You know, power drill and some steak knives will do the trick. <laughs> uh. There's your trans purple. Ooh, pretty. Um, here's the mask. Get really close so you can see it. Ooh. Oop, there we go. Oh, nope. There we go. These are hard to deal with. I, I just can't say how much I don't like them. Um, I, I can actually, I can honestly say I'll probably be putting these parts on, uh, custom heads more than I will be actually using these heads. These, I don't, not a fan. Um, 
One cool thing I would like to note to make a note of is the skill spiders for him and the fire protector who is next come in yellowish green. Uh, that is really cool because this is a color that until now I've only seen in Lego Friends sets. Um, it's really cool to s that they bothered to make a bionicle or a CCBS or whatever you want to call it, a construction part in this color. I really would like to see more of this color. And I would like to see more colors in CCBS. Um, they're doing a good job of including more colors in the color palette, but I mean, yeah, throw in some of those purples, hell, even throw in pink. I, I would not be opposed to seeing some pink on a bionicle, but I guess that goes to that whole marketing thing, you know, what what little boy is going to buy a Lego, you know, a bionicle set that's pink. Um, but I, I hope Lego keeps an open mind when they uh, start designing for their color palette because the fact that we got basically a Lego Friends color is already impressive. I, I really like that. And there you go. That's the Earth Protector. Up next is Fire. And last but not least, for the most part, is the Fire Protector. Um... He's the other one that comes with the uh, yellowish green skull spider that I just mentioned. Uh, so very cool. Um, I, I have very mixed feelings about this guy. Um, the thing I like about him, I like his torso build. That is just nice. I like that he's a little bit bulkier and um, He's bulkier than uh, some of the others. That's cool. Uh, what I don't like about him, though, is I don't care for his weapons. They're just kind of ham-fisted, and they don't... Uh, I, I found it hard to pose this guy in a way that like I liked, because his weapons just stick out in a weird way for me. Like, it, oh, And see, there the masks go again. How many times is that now? Like, I think each time... They've fallen off. Just <sighs> please, Lego, get rid of this next year, or or the year after that, because who knows? You probably already have the next year's sets designed. Uh, I hope they get rid of that. It's terrible. It doesn't work. It's yes, the the play feature, the 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 effort of the play feature is nice, but the actual practicality of it for mocking or for handling your figures, just, no, please do away with it. Thank you. <laughs> um, I don't like his weapons, and, I mean, the Predator ripoff is, again, I guess it's appreciated, but my beef with that is, it's still just kind of in the way I guess it's it's mostly out of the way if he's sticking on his back and but then it's just hanging off and you know it's just like um ways they could have fixed that is, I, I think is maybe make it a little bit more articulate you know maybe use another uh, arrangement of connections to orient it a little better. I, I mean, I'd have to experiment with that to figure out what a good solution would be, but I wasn't. I'm not feeling it. Personally. Uh, but, I mean, it's cool to not see that kind of homage to uh, you know, the designer's influences and and stuff. You know, you see that in uh, sets sometimes where they, you just know, oh, that's what they're referencing. And I think I had his armor on sideways. Um, the the silver on him is centralized. Uh, I like that. Um, the I actually, even though technically it makes the 
uh, selection of bone parts bland, I actually like the fact that they kept it black because then that kind of gives them a better, like a more lava y look. Uh, but on on the um, inverse, it might have been really cool to see like black armor over top trans orange bone parts. That might have been cool because then it would have given like a crusty outer lava, like a hardened lava on top of like the still heated lava look. Um, still looks cool. Um, not a, not a bad figure, but definitely within my um, least favorites. Um, he also has the uh, stubby arms like the ice protector so I I don't like that as well um, the ice protector and this one are probably my bottom two uh, for that reason um, as figures uh, ice protector is probably my least favorite with him following up um, part selection you, you only get the one silver uh, new piece you get the mask obviously another you know that's in anything the the orange pieces aren't even particularly um unique um you do get the fists in orange um and i if memory serves me correctly you can currently only get those in fluminox or in some of the chima sets but yeah you get them here and so that's a nice inclusion if you don't have any but everything else is pretty pretty standard fare for uh, part selections other than the new parts which are also not unique you know his mask is the only thing only piece unique to this set um, for me that makes him not as desirable as say the Earth Protector or the um, Jungle or uh, Stone Protector. So, yeah. That uh, concludes my reviews of the Protector sets. I will get to the Toa and the Lord of Skull Spiders when I can. Thank you for watching, commenting, subscribing, liking, favoriting, and all that great internet stuff that we all do. Uh, just in general, thanks for the support. I appreciate it. And I hope you've enjoyed these reviews, and I will see you guys next time.